Alright guys, so, sorry for the bad camera angle, but I'm back with another video, and in today's video I'm basically going to be cast netting some baits down at the creek, I'm going to see how that goes. Also, I wanted to do a um, boat, a little boat update, that's what the boat looks like, I put liquid nails and caulk, and let me get a better camera angle. See, that's all, that white stuff is called caulk. C-A-U-L-K. And I put, um, I put some caulk and liquid nails over the screws so then none of the stuff, that's a mess. But, yes, yeah, so then none of the water would get in. So, I will get back with you guys when I'm at the creek. Alright guys, so I'm down at the creek right now, I'm just walking down the creek road, but one thing that I noticed is the chain is down, so that means somebody came in here, and he's down here right now, so I'm going to see, if any... there are geese everywhere, so that's what that noise is, but yeah. I remember last time I was down here, I saw a raccoon at that tree. I had a video on that, but unfortunately I couldn't get it to upload. Yeah, those are the, that's like a stream that runs into the creek. I'm hoping it's low tide, cross my fingers. But, like I said earlier, I will see you guys when I get down there. My prayers have been answered. It's low tide, if you can see that. See all those little cypress knees? Those are all normally underwater, so it's low. So I'm just going to walk back over to the creek. i just walk over to the creek real quick. Yeah, yesterday, when I was down here, I forgot my cast net, so I took... So I couldn't catch them, but I was catching mosquito fish and small perch with rod and reel. But there were so many bluegill and perch down here, and there were puddles all in, like all near those cypress knees, and it was crazy. There's the creek right around the corner. It's the James River. Now we're talking. Here we go. That, hang on, let me see if I can zoom in. That stream back there is where all the baits are, all the bluegill. So, real quick, I'm going to show you guys how you want to throw a cast net. The wind's whipping out here, but the baits should still be out. Something snagged on my crab pot line. Look at all that mess. Hang on. I'll get back with you guys when I pull up my crab pot. All right guys, so you are not gonna believe this. So I came down here to catch some perch with my um, cast net. Look at the size of those perch. Those are like three pound perch. That's a state record easy. Holy crap. I've never seen any that big. Oh my God. <sighs> my heart is like racing. I don't even know what to do with these. Oh my God. <sighs> hmm. So I'm in a predicament. All right, well, I'll get back with you guys in a minute. All right, guys, so I'm going to have to end the video here. I'm really sorry about this. I will get a video out of me cast netting, hopefully later today. But I need to call somebody about these. I need to know if it's legal to 
take these home. Because if you guys didn't know, I have a big 200 gallon um, pond, koi pond. And I'm going to see if I'm allowed to take these home. So I'll see you guys in the next video.